Dear colleagues, dear friends, these are certainly extraordinary times we are living in. And I want to first send my best wishes to you and your loved ones. I hope that you are all staying well. We are all bitterly disappointed to have to cancel the upcoming World Library and Information Congress in Dublin in August. For many of us, it is the highlight of our professional year when we can meet with colleagues from around the world to renew connections, learn what's happening and plan for the coming year. However, it has become increasingly obvious that it is not possible to hold our Congress this year because of the huge impact that the coronavirus is having. Many people have been working so hard to prepare for the Congress. The professional units have been planning their midterm meetings, their satellite meetings and open sessions. I know how much work is involved and it is a great pity that these events are not able to go ahead. I am pleased to say that our Secretary General, Gerald Leitner and the Governing Board have been able to come up with a plan to give us a way forward for our Congresses. It's a bit like a chess game, moving different pieces around and there has been more than one complication. Some of you may be aware that the new Auckland Convention Centre, which is currently being constructed, was badly affected by a fire late last year. And there is no certainty that it will be completed by August 2022. And so we have negotiated with the Convention Centre in Dublin to move our booking this year to 2022, thus minimising the financial impact on IFLA for having to cancel this year's Congress. I would particularly like to thank the Irish National Committee for their great support. They stepped up at, for IFLA at short notice when we needed to postpone the Auckland Conference this year, and they continue to provide the greatest support with their agreement to host the 2022 conference. Thank you so much. Many of you will be finding yourselves in unfamiliar territory with crisis management, providing services remotely, working from home, incredible changes in our working lives that we could never have imagined only a few months ago. The governing board too, of course, has been affected and will meet virtually at the end of this month. We continue to work on the governance review and our intention is to have a draft structure available for consultation by the end of May. I continue to be so impressed with the way the library field is stepping up to continue providing services to their communities. Every day, it seems there are new innovative services being offered and a lot of work is going on to ensure that digital materials and services can be provided during this shutdown period. There is an excellent list of resources and other information on the IFLA website. I know that libraries will come out of this stronger and more adaptable than ever. Let's work together to make libraries as strong and as good as they can be. And as Queen Elizabeth said in her recent address, we'll meet again. And I look forward to that so much.